So Ross, obviously a, a stern test away at Solihull this weekend. What are your thoughts ahead of this one? Um, I always start by saying they're a good team. They are a good team. Um, they're a team who plow, uh, who, who who move the ball well and keep possession well. So um, uh, we're also a good team. Um, so we're also got a good momentum. Um, so we'll be, uh, we'll, like I said, we'll always say we'll be well organised. We'll be going with a good game plan and um, fully expecting to get a performance and, and put in a good shift and work hard and dig in and show some fight and determination that we have done. And um, also when when it matters in key moments, show some good quality and um, get 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 the ultimate result we deserve and want. Really, we obviously failed to defeat against them in the first game of the season, but you know a lot has changed since then, hasn't it? So it will be a different different kind of game. Yeah, I think so. I think it's changed for them and it's changed for us as well. Like, um, uh, obviously, we, we are in, in, in like, I said, like I said, a bit of momentum. Like, what we've done, we, 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 I think we've been good the majority of that time that I've been here. Um, and um, they've had had, so, had some little blips and, and been up and down and obviously had a bit of an FA Cup run and stuff as well. So, um, like I said, they, they'll be at it. They'll, they'll want to they'll continue on from, from beating all of them at home last week. And... Um, they'll want to do well, and, and and we'll be there, and we'll we'll be going there to, to, to stop them, stop the stop their momentum, and, and do it as well as we can. As you say, you know, momentum's a big thing, and, and we do come into the back of it off of two two 0 wins, you know, at home to South End and away to Gateshead. So it is just all about you know bringing what we did in those games to to this Saturday, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, it is, but it's also like as well like adapting if we need to adapt, and obviously there. They're they're like um, they'll, they'll offer a lot of different problems to what Gateshead and, and South End offer. Often that's not no disrespect to them them two teams. They're, they're just a different team and they've got different individuals and how they play. So so it'll be up to us to try and sort of adapt to that. But like um, uh, we are like I said, we're in good form and got good momentum. But like if, it, if if when it stops or or when it stops is the best word because it will. Um, it's not a case of the end of the world and. It's not the case of like oh, everything that was working before doesn't work and, and boo hoo and all that. So like just carry on and we crack on and we bounce straight back like we've shown we can and we continue on another little run. It's not just about the results though, obviously with the football we've played in the last two games, especially the two goals against Gateshead. You know, it's, it's all about bringing that forward with the momentum, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, the uh, we are uh, we've got a lot of attacking players, a lot of good attacking players like Justin, Ryan, obviously Tommy and Inny and. Um, uh, Audi and Frank and to name it like a few so like uh, and then obviously Harrison coming back as well so like we've got really bright bright players who can cause teams lots of problems and um, I do think we've still got lots to, to do in terms of how we how we keep the ball and how we manage transitions and and that's not going to be fixed in like in like um, or got better in like a couple of weeks like a couple of months even it's a long term thing um, but yeah like I said you've got bright attacking players so they're always going to they're always going to be a threat, and as you've probably seen against Gated, when we break and um, we press, or we break from a press, or, or transition quick moments, like we're we're very, very, um, very, very offensive and very, very quick. You mentioned Frank there in the attacking players. We saw him a bit more forward against Gated. Is that something you're keen to do? Uh, without giving too much away the game plan. Um, yeah, I mean, I would, I, I, we like Frank. Frank's a, um, someone I would call like as a box to box player. I think he can do. I think he can do that eight and that ten role very well. I think one thing I really like about Frank um, in terms of his play, which we haven't seen, we've seen bits of it, but but he runs in behind well and and he overlaps centre forwards and he, he gets him in, in spaces um, in behind the wing backs and full backs, um, which I think is. Um, Really important for an attacking midfielder, so so trying to get him maybe higher up the pitch to allow him to do more of that. And I think he he, he was offside, wasn't he, just for a goal against Gateshead and just mm -hmm. fractionally. So hopefully we we'll see more of that. But he's been excellent. Like he's he's, he's distance he covers and um, no matter how hard he works for the team and how much he supports the team and, and stuff like and whatnot. But like I mean, they're all good, right? And like the more better players or the better players we get on the pitch, the better we're going to do. And like it's not a it's not a coincidence that Parts is playing regularly and we're winning football matches and Frank's regular and Harrison comes back in and then he's fit and etc etc. You're going to win games with the better players you get on the pitch and the better they play and like that's not like um, it's not a staff and thing or a recruitment thing. We got we got good players so like we're just performing at the level we should be performing and like I said like to you after the last game the back four and all the defenders we've had have been absolutely exceptional and it's because they're good players.
we saw uh, Harry, you know, play 25 minutes in the Hampshire Cup before that was postponed, and he got a few minutes up at Gateshead as well. So how's his recovery coming? Yeah, really good. Like he's fat fit now. He's just not match fit. Right? Like, he probably disagree with me on that. But <laughs> he like he he he's getting warmed up. I know he, he did 10 minutes of the day, and he probably wanted to do a little bit more. And he could certainly be a, be a, be be up to 30, 45 now, which I think is. Is um, uh, is really good for the squad and really good for the group and the team and like like the sixteen seventeen really good players here which is hard because we have to upset people and um, we have to we have to have people on the bench but but we want to use everyone I and mean, we want to be well, not not fair is probably not the word but we want to be smart and we want to make sure that we're, we're sort of like using players for different games and stuff but Harry Harry falls in that bracket and he trained really well today so like uh, um, I wasn't up with him really. And I've got to say as well, congratulations for us. For obviously, this is your, going to be your first first game as permanent manager of of Oldershot. Lose the interim title now. Yeah. So how do you feel ahead of that? You know, of, you know, we've got a, a big run coming now ahead of Christmas, and then we've got January. So how how how's your feeling after taking the job? Yeah, I mean, obviously, like I've been here eight weeks, so like <laughs> this is week nine, I think, isn't it? So it doesn't really feel um, any different. Um, it's an absolute honour and a privilege to be given the title, and 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 obviously for the fans and for the players and I'll always continue to work hard and give it my absolute best and likewise my staff James, Robbie uh, and all of the staff will want to do that as well but like ultimately um, crack on more the same like I don't want to to be saying this is my first game in charge like in my first game not an interim when I, really it's my ninth game in charge and it's 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 more of the same really and we want to we want to continue that momentum and I've been very um, clear that we're about how well we play and the better we play and the better we are as a team and the results will ultimately turn and um, so we've seen like positive in that so like just more of the same really perfect cheers Ross thank you nice <laughs> Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.